Hey everybody, it's Rob. I'm back. Today we're going to talk about some bumpers. Um, we all use these things. You know they're great. They're 12 bucks at Walmart. But sometimes with the way our boats are shaped, how they've got that curve, if you try to get two Yamaha boats together, you don't get real protection, good protection from these because you use the center cleat. You tie it right there and the boats are hitting each other like right here at the top. So you don't get good protection when you tie the two boats off. And sometimes with these boats, where these cleats are located, you can't get good protection against a dock either. So the other day, I was sitting on the shitter and I watched this video on Facebook about this new product that's out there. And I watched the video and these things were cool. I mean, they were kind of genius in all honesty. So I watched the video and I thought to myself, man, I wonder if they'll send me some and I could do a YouTube video on it and just kind of show how they are because they're pretty cool. And like I said, the way these Yamaha boats are shaped with that curve, this would be really cool. So the company is called Mission Boat Gear and they sell this product called Century Fenders. So they sent me two of them. So here's what I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> here's what we got. So we got our boat tied up here. And this is the, the product. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these on Facebook, on the internet, um, Mission Boat Products, and it's called Century Fender with an S, S-E-N-T-R-Y. So <clears throat> basically how these are, it's just a foam material. You see it's pretty foamy. It comes with this, uh, I'm not sure what that product is, it's probably nylon I'm guessing. But it's got this little pull system. You pull these in like that. And in here, it's got a locking mechanism where you, where if it gets pulled up that way, it tightens up in there. It won't come loose. But it doesn't get tight enough to where you can't really manipulate it. So here's how this works. Like I said, we're tied up to the dock. And again, this could be up to the boat too. Tied up to just the boat, between the two boats. So you just kind of wrap it around your cleat. You can wrap it around your cleat all kinds of different ways, you know, if you're if you're insecure like me, like to double wrap it or anything like that, you don't have to, but so then you just adjust it to where you need it. You pull these straps and it raises and lowers. And now, when you come up against the dock, just like that, and it's locked in. If you need to adjust it, you just kind of pull it forward and it comes loose. So you can adjust the depth of it, the length. So that's pretty cool. And you can see we've got one in the back too. And it's perfect on that back cleat. And what's nice is you got this hole right here, goes all the way through. With that one, we just put our anchor line right through the center hole there. And it all just kind of meshes together. Everything fits perfect. So again, back to tying up two Yamaha boats together. Like I said, you put that, you put this old bumper in here like we're all used to, and just try to picture if you could another Yamaha right here. So you tie this up as tight as you can. You're not getting good protection between the two boats because there's not enough, you know, and I know some of you are gonna say, oh, you could tie it up here and do this other crazy captain kind of thing, but that's complicated. This, you pull it up tight and you're done. Now that covers your boat, high, low, and the other Yamaha boat that's right here. So I mean, this is a perfect little piece of gear for any boat for that matter, but for the way the Yamahas are shaped, that protects both boats in the rear. And the front, the front cleat, you don't even need a front cleat because that's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere between two boats. There's other ways you can mount these things on because this is long enough, if you're on a dock, you can wrap it around your dock, pull it tight, and now your boat's protected from the dock itself. All right, another way you can mount these things is if you got a wakeboard tower, wrap it around there, then wrap it around itself, So depending on your situation, 
whether you got a, another boat next to you, you can tie it up there and protect your boat from here. Real easy. If you don't have a wakeboard tower, well that just sucks. Everybody should have a wakeboard tower. But you could use your your bimini poles, you could wrap it up that way. Or depending on your situation, let's go up front maybe. If you've got another boat up here that may not be the same shape as a Yamaha, and you're tying off to each other, you could do the same thing up here. Wrap it around this thing. Just like that. And now you could just adjust your straps. You can go down lower even. You can protect the front end of your boat here. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can mount these things. It's just super, super versatile. Um, and I don't have it. I don't. Our friends Jeremy and Caroline aren't coming out today, so I, I would have liked to have had their boat out here. But you get the gist of everything. So and they don't take up a whole lot of space. They lay kind of flat, so they take up a little bit less space than the the, uh, the normal bumpers or fenders. Um, but I got to tell you, these things are pretty much a perfect design, pretty much for any boat. But the way our boats are shaped with this little arc here that kind of comes out is perfect for us because then you could connect two boats together and you're not going to have to worry about the, the other white kind of bumpers slipping, uh, not really protecting anything, you know. So, in my honest opinion, this product is perfect. I mean, look how quick that is. There's no tying, no knots, no nothing and it stays there. You can't beat that. Now they're a little bit more expensive than the regular bumpers. Um, the bumpers I think at Walmart are like 12, 13 bucks. So these are 65 bucks each. Not a pair, each. It's perfect though. It's well worth the money. You're protecting your boat. You can see how it lays right with the contour of the boat down there. This is gonna protect you from damage to your fiberglass, your paint, decals well worth the money in my honest to god opinion now full disclosure i'm not getting anything other than the product itself i'm not getting any money i'm just endorsing it because i'm retired i got lots of stuff lots of time on my hands and this is just a really cool product so i wanted to get the word out uh, they're an upcoming new company so um, down below i'll put a link to where you can buy these you can get them on amazon you can get them from directly from them they don't have discounts yet. Uh, I looked into like an affiliate program to where I could offer some of my viewers some discounts. They're not there yet, uh, but that may be a, a possibility down the road. Uh, how long it'll be down the road, I have no idea. But honestly, when it comes to something like this, um, I'm going to buy some more. I want to have at least four of these on my boat, so I'll be buying some more. Uh, but this is well worth the money in my honest opinion because it just protects so much of the space where the normal white ones just kind of fall short uh, and then you got the ease of the thing so anyway like i said i'll put a link down below so you can get to these all right that's it guys happy boating